We stayed on the north of the Switzerland. We rent here for a few days an apartment, a very cozy apartment in a typical house uh, in a very, very quiet place. So we were in a countryside of the Switzerland. We saw the animals every day and uh, it's how I imagined the Switzerland. Um, the landscapes here just spectacular. The cows were everywhere and uh, they're so beautiful and so cute. Do you remember uh, the photo that we all had on the windows? Here you can take the same picture everywhere you look. The grass is so green, you don't need any filters. This is a real colors and uh, we are in the late October, in the end of October. Every morning we woke up in the complete fog. The nature is the best artist and I never saw the most beautiful fog in my life. Um, this is the valley where we stayed and uh, you see there is our village. This area is a natural park and uh, we drive only 40 minutes from uh, Bern, from the capital. I think to understand completely the life of the country, you have to go and see the countryside and spend some time there. Yeah, that's what I told you, the cows were everywhere, even on the road, so uh, they blocked our uh, way, and uh, I tried to... Allez, venez! Allez, venez! Dans quichot! Chouch, mouch, mouch! Allez, venez! I tried to talk to them in, uh, in German, <laughs> because it's, it's a German part, everyone speaks German here. Um, they start to move, Allez. finally, and we can Allez. continue our road. Op, 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 op. This is, was very funny. Uh, I loved so much to stay in this part of the Switzerland, but let me tell you a story about how we get here. We drived from France for a few hours, and our first stop was a Grindelwald, and then we visited a Lauterbrunnen Valley. We arrived to Grindelwald and uh, we went straight away to take a cable cars, uh, Ager Express. This is the same way if you go to uh, Jean Frau, the top of the mountain. And um, with these cable cars, we are gonna go up to see the beautiful views of the Swiss mountains. There are many things that you can do in Grindelwald, but in late October many things were closed for the maintenance before the ski season and only the way uh, to the top of the Europe still was open. We arrived to Ager and here you have to switch the cable car to continue your way to go to the top of the mountains and see the largest uh, glacier in the Alps. We stopped on a halfway to have a look around and take some pictures of these amazing mountains. It was not cold at all, I was so surprised. We took a lot of warm cloth with us. This is the top of the Europe. After uh, we got hungry and um, we did check this beautiful restaurant with amazing terrace. Uh, you can't miss it, I think, if you are there. And um, this is already a lunch time. And um, after we're gonna continue, we will take a trail to go to the lake. So we need to charge our energy before. 
I was surprised that the prices uh, were okay. I was thinking that it would be a super expensive because it's the only one restaurant <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the mountains. But uh, yeah, it was uh, super nice and we got a company. He's waiting for Matthew French fries. Now we're gonna go down to the lake. Um, you can go uh, down till the Lauterbrunnen Valley from here. Uh, and uh, also you can uh, uh, reach this place by a train from Lauterbrunnen uh, Valley. So everything is connected. I uh, didn't saw it like this before uh, we planned to go here but actually it's uh, very easy it's super easy you have trains everywhere and you have uh, trails everywhere so you will never get lost and if you are tired you can just go to the closest uh, train station and uh, come back Matt did really good we hiked for two hours and uh, with all these uh, atmosphere landscapes uh, mountains fresh air he forgot that he is tired uh, now we are at the train station and uh, we're gonna take a train to go back this is a very old train uh, I love the trains in Switzerland uh, you must take a train uh, on your trip at least once we showed you the beautiful Swiss Alps and now we are going down to the Grindelwald. We're gonna move from here to see the uh, Lauterbrunnen Valley. We took a train from Lauterbrunnen Valley to go up to Wengen. Uh, the train was empty. This is the second day of our uh, journey and the weather changed, so it's rainy. Um, I think that's why there were no people. Uh, we, when we go up to the Wengen, we went straight away to the viewpoint and this was our point <laughs> to visit the Wengen, is to see Lauterbrunnen Valley from above. Switzerland inspired the magical landscapes of uh, the Lord of the Ring and uh, for sure these landscapes uh, match the drama of epic fantasy, um, the Lauterbrunnen waterfalls, the uh, Grindelwald, uh, Ager and uh, Jungfrau mountains. From this uh, viewpoint you see the Lauterbrunnen Valley is a home of uh, 72 waterfalls in total. I was so happy that the weather is uh, not good, but it was good for me to film these uh, magical landscapes and I was not alone. We've met so many photographers on our way. The Wengen is a very small village, it's, it's a ski station, uh, as I understood, uh, so um, it's uh, very quiet in October. Now we're going down uh, to the Lauterbrunnen Valley finally, and uh, we're gonna stay here overnight. Normally Lauterbrunnen Valley is a very touristic place, but uh, we uh, didn't feel it like this, we didn't uh, see it like this because of the weather and the low season and uh, I'm really uh, grateful that we visited in this time of the year. I imagine that with the sun and the blue sky you will experience a different Lauterbrunnen. I was amazed by a tall uh, waterfall cascades down a mountain in the background of the village this village is accessible by car and there are only one road. Now we're gonna go to visit uh, one of the waterfall, it's a very accessible one. The sun is going down and we have to hurry before sunset.
there are a few stairs and uh, you will reach the point where you feel yourself like under a waterfall which is an amazing and um, but it's really wet so if you're planning to go there prepare to be wet but it's an amazing experience look at that This is a very quiet place. We found a shop with the cheese. So you can take a cheese and then uh, put a comment, write a comment and put some cash. Then we found a beautiful church in the middle of the village and uh, our friends, cows, we were joking that uh, in Switzerland uh, there are more cows than the Swiss. I'm wondering, uh, maybe it's true. After Lauterbrunnen, we drive to the north of the Switzerland. To finish this video, I decided to put um, my images that I took in Lucerne. Uh, it was our way back home and uh, we stopped here um, early morning uh, just to spend uh, two hours. Uh, this is a very touristic place. Uh, Lucerne is uh, very um, famous in all tour guides of Switzerland. You will see the picture of this uh, beautiful bridge. And um, because of, again, because of we uh, arrived here very early morning and we just spent here uh, like from 9 a.m. till 11, uh, we find it very uh, beautiful, very quiet um, and a uh, very special place. We also visited uh, Bern in our uh, journey, but I want to share uh, with you our experience in Lucerne because I think it's uh, worth it and uh, if you have an opportunity to stop even just for two hours it's uh, enough to see this beautiful um, center of the town and uh, this uh, wooden bridge the famous covered wooden footbridge uh, spanning the uh, river in the city of uh, Lucerne. The bridge is uh, unique in containing a number of interior paintings dating back to the 17th century. And it also the oldest wooden covered bridge in Europe. On the other side of the river, we found a morning market. I love the markets, uh, if you might notice from my previous videos. I didn't expect to see the local market in Lucerne, so I was so happy to see how locals are buying their food and uh, then they uh, go to drink a coffee just uh, in front of the market in the coffee shops and uh, with the beautiful view of this unique bridge in Lucerne. Now we are driving back home and uh, we decided to pass by uh, San Gotthard Pass, beautiful road, and um, we're gonna have a few hours in front of us. Thank you so much for watching our videos and take care. Bye.